Not all keto diets are created equal. In this video, you're gonna understand the difference between clean keto and dirty keto at a cellular level so you can maximize your keto results. Let's do this. What's up Keto Camper? Ben Azadi here, certified functional health practitioner, best-selling author of three books, I'm on a mission to educate 1 billion people on the amazing benefits of keto and fasting. So if that's what you're interested in, you're in the right place. This video, I'm gonna break down how keto works at a cellular level and how you could be doing keto the wrong way and getting symptoms as a result of it. One of those symptoms being weight loss resistant. So I'm gonna break this down so it's very easy to understand so you can finish this video and crush it with your keto. Let's get into how this works in the body, I wanna show you what it looks like for a healthy cell to be functioning at a high level. Our creator, whether you believe in God, mother nature, love, the universe, whatever you believe in, we were created to thrive, not to survive. So when you look at the human body, we're made up of 70 trillion cells. That's trillion. Every cell inside of it has the DNA, the genes you were born with. And it is true, you cannot change your genes that you're born with, but, it's a big but right here, you can change the expression of those genes. It's called epigenetics. So the genes you're born with, they load the gun, but you, your environment, the food you put in your mouth, the thoughts that you think, determine whether or not you pull the trigger on those genes. Think of genes as the lights inside of your bathroom. You walk into the bathroom, you turn on the switch, turning on those genes. You turn off the switch, you turn off those genes. You have the capability to do it. I'm gonna explain how this works. Every cell has around it something called the cell membrane, which is a lipid bilayer. Do you know what it's made up of? Protein, saturated fat, and cholesterol. That's right, you are literally made up of fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol. That's why your body loves the keto diet, healthy keto diet. That's the caveat. When you give the body what it wants, it's going to thrive. So I'm showing you what it looks like at a cellular level. Let's pretend like we have a microscope right here and we're looking at your body at a cellular level. Inside of the cells, you have not only your DNA, which I explained, but you have mitochondria, which is the energy power plant of your cells. They are the energy of your cells. We want a lot of these mitochondria. A healthy cell, some healthy cells have over a thousand of these mitochondria, these organelles. It produces something called ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate, but we're gonna call it ATP. This is the gasoline of your cell. Look, the more you have of mitochondria and ATP, the more efficient you are gonna be in your life. You're gonna to live to 120 years old, disease-free, like a rock star. You're gonna thrive instead of survive. So we want a lot of mitochondria. Every cell also has these receptor sites around the cell, on the cell membrane. So think of these receptor sites as cell phone antenna signals. When you call somebody, it sends a signal. When somebody receives that signal, they see the person is calling, they pick it up, the job is completed. Same thing with your nutrients that you're eating every day, the oxygen in your body that you're breathing, and hormones. We have over 600 hormones. So all of these are just sending signals to your cells in order for the receptor sites to pick it up, produce energy, create more mitochondria, and thrive. Every time you create energy, it creates cellular smoke. That's what this is right here, cellular smoke. The same as if I were to create burnt firewood right here in front of you in this room, it would create smoke while your cells create energy and it creates smoke. A healthy cell has the ability to remove those toxins, to remove that smoke. So this is a thriving cell right here. This is the goal that you should have in order to crush it with your health. Now, what's the problem? Most people don't have healthy cells. Most people have unhealthy cells. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So you take a snapshot of this, and now let me show you what an unhealthy cell looks like. And before I do, I wanna let you know that I appreciate you making it to this point of the video, and if it's been helpful so far, hit the like button on this video, and if you're not subscribed to the Keto Camp YouTube channel, hit subscribe with that little bell so you're notified when I go live or release a new video. Most people, they don't have the healthy cells. They have inflammation around their cells and it looks like this. So when I say inflammation, I'm not talking about a, a sore shoulder from a CrossFit workout or a sprained ankle from basketball. That's inflammation too. But I'm referring to cellular inflammation. And that's what this red is. So when you have cellular inflammation, guess what happens? Those receptor sites, 
that are meant to pick up signals from your nutrients, from oxygen, from hormones, including your fat burning hormones and anti-aging hormones. Now they're still sending the signals, so you can't blame them. You can be eating the best diet in the world, doing your deep breathing, getting in some fresh air, and even taking hormone therapy, but if they're not getting into the cell, you can't get well. And that message right there, I wanna land with you here today that I learned from my coach and mentor, Dr. Pampa. If you want to get well, you have to fix the cell, and you're understanding this. And I'm gonna relate all this to keto in a second here, to ketone specifically. When you have the message being blocked, all of a sudden, you have less ATP, you have less mitochondria, less energy in that cell. And the energy that is created still creates smoke, but if there's cellular inflammation all around, guess what happens? Now that smoke cannot escape. Now that cell starts to mutate. And the cell membrane, which is inflamed, communicates to the DNA to turn on the bad genes. That's when symptoms start to occur. And if you look on this part of the chart here, symptoms, these are just a few of them. There's a long list, a never ending list here. Weight gain, yeah, if you're overweight right now, if you have weight loss resistance, that's not the problem. That is a result of the problem. When I was obese, weighing 80 pounds heavier than you see me right now, I didn't have a weight problem, I had a weight symptom. Some other symptoms are gut issues, leaky gut, autoimmune disease. We have over, what, 100 of them and plus additional 40 that are related to autoimmune disease. Joint pain, anxiety, skin issues, and I could go on and on and on. Now let me ask you this, Keto Camper. Is the problem the symptoms or is the problem going on with the cells, the inflammation of the cells? Yeah, it's the cells. So why does allopathic medicine, conventional doctors, treat this? Even dietitians and nutritionists treat this. That's why we have this epidemic of disease in this world. Einstein said it best, intellectuals solve problems, Geniuses like you and I prevent them. So I wanna teach you how to be a genius here. The problem with so many people out there, they are burning sugar, glucose, as their primary fuel source, creating a lot of inflammation around the cells because sugar is a dirty fuel source to the body. Your cells do not prefer glucose, sugar, as its primary fuel source. It prefers ketones. I want you to think of sugar as a Mack truck speeding through the highway with all this smoke coming out of its exhaust pipe. It's not healthy for the environment. It's probably not going to get to its destination safe. That's what it's like when your cells are producing sugar, burning sugar for fuel. It creates a lot of byproducts, a lot of cellular smoke. And if you don't have the ability to detoxify that smoke, guess what happens? Disease starts to occur. Symptoms start to appear. Now, when you transition into healthy keto, and I'm gonna show you in a little bit, clean keto versus dirty keto, but when you transition to a clean keto diet, you are switching your energy fuel source. That's like Elon Musk Tesla, cruising through the highway, no smoke coming out of its exhaust pipe, much healthier from the environment than the Mack truck. So we wanna teach you how to be a Tesla here. And when you do clean keto, you downregulate inflammation, all of a sudden your hormones can get in, and when you do this, this is what happens. Your symptoms go away. Whatever you're dealing with, maybe it's the autoimmune, maybe it's the joint pain, all this starts to go away because you tackled the root cause. Now that you understand the difference between burning sugar versus burning fat and what it does to your body at a cellular level, let's get into clean keto versus dirty keto so you are empowered to leave this video with the information you need to thrive on your keto journey. So the number one rule here when you're following a keto diet is to follow a clean keto diet. Because if you're doing keto but it's dirty keto, you're still gonna have inflammation and you're still gonna be dealing with symptoms. So let's start with dirty keto. These are the foods that I want you to avoid on your keto diet. Vegetable oils. Vegetable oils come from soybean oil, safflower oil, cottonseed oil, peanut oil, grapeseed oil, canola oil, corn oil, any of these industrial seed oils you want to avoid as much as possible. We also want to avoid table salt, pasteurized dairy, that includes milk and cheese, farmed fish, which has high amounts of PCBs, which creates a lot of problems within the body, and non-organic meats, which means these were animals that were caged and tortured and pumped full of antibiotics. That's dirty keto. We wanna make sure we are eating on the right side of this list, which is clean keto. Avocados and avocado oil, coconut, coconut oil, 100% grass-fed beef, Bone broth, which I love kettle and fire. It's my favorite bone broth. I'll put a link for them down below with the coupon code for keto campers. Olives and olive oil, raw dairy, 
wild caught fish, and sea salt. There's a bunch more I could add to this list and if you want to learn more about that, explore the videos on this channel. I'm going to put a few videos right here in the card so make sure you explore them, dig a little bit deeper and I also have my free keto kickstart guide over at www.ketokickstartguide.com so claim that for free. I want to know, for those of you who have made it this far in the video, congratulations and thank you, what has been your biggest takeaway from this video? Please take a second right now to drop it down below and also hit the like on this video if you haven't done so already and subscribe to the Keto Camp YouTube channel and hit that bell so you're notified. I want to get to the YouTube comment of the day. The comment comes from Greta P. Greta says, I really enjoyed your video and I will try my best to get on this diet and change my life and my food here, but thank you so much for a wonderful video. Also send it to my daughter and my son and granddaughter. Oh, Greta, that's amazing. I'm so inspired that you're inspired to get healthier and thank you for sharing this with your family. Be sure to send this video to somebody following the keto diet. Share it with your family, share it with your friends, share it with your coworkers. And I wanna thank you for watching this entire video. You'll see me on the next video.